Hi and welcome to Plone Shorts episode 4. In this episode I will show you how to add a custom criteria to a collection. We build up on the content type created in the last episode. It has a series field and an episode field. And we want to have the series field as in criteria. First we need to add the series field to the catalog to make it searchable. So in our code, Plone CLI already generated a catalog XML. Here we can add the code to add an index and add metadata. Here in the XML, the metadata is called column, while the index is called index. In episode one, I explained what the difference between the index and the metadata is. And here we use it in an XML file so we can install it while installing our type. We use a field index because we have a one-valued field. If we have a multi-valued field, but like a list of values, it would be a keyword index. And there's also a date index and a text index and so on. The index attribute value is series. In fact, it's the difference. It's the name of the index. And here, this is the name of the, or the attribute name of the attribute to be indexed. And that's in our case the same. So we save it. And that's the first part. Just the collection does not know anything about this new index by now. We need first to declare the field as an criteria. And this is done in a separate XML file in the registry. The registry is a key value store for Plone configuration. It is usually configured in a file called registry XML or if you have many settings it's recommended to add a directory registry under your profile's default and add then multiple XML files in there. These key value pairs are usually bundled into records and a record is defined by an interface which is a schema for the field with the attribute names and the types of the fields. It is addressed using a prefix, in our case it's blown app query string field and then the last part is the name of the field. Thus you can have multiple records of the same schema with different prefixes. To get a better understanding what we want to achieve, let's go back to the user interface. Here we have a Volto site and I add here a listing block. Um, okay, here we go. This is a listing block. And here on the right side of the block, you can see the query string criteria we want to configure. Let's have a look at existing criterias. Here we can select the criteria like in the metadata or here we have text criteria. We have some kinds of sections here. If I select, for instance, the type, then I get here a selection of the operation I want to um, do and here I can select an item from the vo provided vocabulary. Uh, in our case we want the clone shorts and then um, I got here my article on the left searching explained. Now back in the XML file we can define a new criteria using this record. And here we have the title that is displayed series. There's also a short description. Then we can enable or disable the criteria. We can tell the system if it should appear in the sortable dropdown or not. And we have one or more operations in here. Uh, let's stick to one operation that any of the selected values is sufficient. And then the next thing is we need to provide a vocabulary. We don't have this at the moment. I show how to add a vocabulary later. And also define in which group or section it should appear. As I said, we need a vocabulary. The named utility, plone shorts, vocabulary series that 
gives us the values for display for selection in the criteria. Therefore, we need to add a tiny code snippet. I prepared this here, a file vocabularies py, and from the catalog vocabularies of clone app vocabularies, I import the keywords vocabulary. It is used as a base class of our specific series vocabulary factory. And the only thing to override is the class variable keyword index, which gets the name of the index in the catalog we already added, the series index. And then it collects the values of the series index and displays them for selection in the criteria. Okay, let's install, reinstall our product, site setup, go to add-ons, then we go to clone shots and say uninstall. Here we say install. Okay. Now we go to the front page here where our list block is. Edit. And this is a list block. And now we should have a criteria here somewhere. Serious. Here we go matches any off, only one configured, and we can select here our series searching. Yeah, that's it. We can save it. And now only searching series are showing up here in the list block. I must admit this time this was a bit more complex. Even a tiny snippet of code was needed, but you give your editors a powerful tool on the hand if you have custom criteria tailored to your content. This is for today. See you. Have a good time. Bye.